Two A tables, grades D, GCSE, level six national curriculum. It's question 24 of foundation exam. Um, now this is a very popular type of question now where uh, a two way table question is given without a two way table. So the, probably the best way to go about this is to construct your own table. So um, we have 40 people at a meeting. Each person traveling to the meeting is even going by car or train. So we've got car or train. And then we should have a total column. And then we've got um, them broken down into male and female. So we have males, we have females, and again we have totals. Okay, and we know the total of the totals is 40, because there's 40 people. So that's that one. Let's just separate that out a little bit. It's a bit messy, but it'll do. Okay, so 13 of the people are male. So this total of the people that are male are 13. So that tells us that there must be um, 27 females because 27 plus 13 is 40. 10 females travel by train. So 10 females travel by train. And that tells us that there must be 17 females that travel by car. And we're trying to work out the total number of people that travel by car. I wasn't actually reading that. Just once, once you filled in the table, you can answer any question on this. Eight males travel by car, so we've got eight males in a car. We could actually just finish that and go to 25 for the total cars. But uh, it's always nice to finish these things off, so there should be five in there to make 13 going across, car and train. And that means there's 15 people on the train, and everything tallies up. 25 and 15 makes 40. So there are 25 people that travel by car. Now, obviously that 25 gives us four marks, um, three marks. Um, although this is what I think the best method of doing this, there's lots of ways of figuring out what the answer is here. You could use some ad hoc methods. So long as your method leads to the answer, if you make a mistake along the way, um, so long as the method would have got to the answer if you hadn't made a mistake, you'll get method marks for um, using that method. And there is two method marks here. So, so long as you are doing something that is correct, which will eventually lead to the answer, so long as you don't make a mistake, you will probably get one or two method marks, even if you get the answer wrong. But if you use a table, it should be fairly straightforward to get it right.